Uh, perfect. Um, welcome. This is, um, we put this in place last year. It's a little bit of a one-stop shop for everything sort of luckily sport and PE. Uh, what we're about, a bit of the curriculum, some ADP, um, and ultimately our sort of communications when it comes to fixtures, um, which we think is brilliant. We're paperless um, and it really does work um, when my staff decide to use it properly with some things. Um, so lovely sport, um, a few things. We're actually working as a department to try and, oh, fantastic, hire. Um, we're really working as a department to come up with our sort of motto and slogan and trying to summarise it into one sentence is really, really difficult because I would like to call us uh, traditionally untraditional. Traditional in the fact that we'll have a regular games programme, untraditional in the way that we'll deliver everything around it. Um, and I'll move on to that curriculum and how we deliver that in a second. Um, but every lesson we look to be uh, inspiring, accessible and meaningful. Um, and then with our ADP, we recognised, we do, we always talk about the two Ps, participation and performance. We recognised that we did participation brilliantly and we're having loads of pupils having really positive experience of PE and representing the school. But actually, we wanted to offer so those pupils that like to take it that little bit more seriously, something extra for them. And that's where our ADP came in that I'll, I'll move on to in a bit. Um, put this together and it changes year after year. Um, I won't bore you going through every moment. Um, but ultimately, at seven and eight, we're just fostering a love of PE in games. Um, we, we can, if we can get them hooked at that point, um, we'll take them all the way through um, into lifelong lovers of PE, hopefully, um, especially leaving here in year 13 going, do you know what, I had a really good time. Um, whether that was just the fun lessons and doing random things, playing capture the flag in the woods, or whether that's because it's improved my performance, whether as part of our ADP we're, we're running one-to-ones and I'm actually, I'm at the next stage of where I want to be. Um, and going all the way through, we've got our GCSE and A-level in there as well. Um, this is the curriculum plan as it stands for this year. Um, we don't ever have, it changes year on year with the year groups that we've got coming through. Um, and through this, we have what we call a concept curriculum. And we recognise sport as a vehicle for so much more and so much more better outcomes that we don't just teach the sport in its own right. Um, so this year, again, with the changes for double games afternoons, which I think personally is an absolute godsend. Previously, it's just been three to four. What it's allowed us to do is increase the um, fixtures and games curriculum that we have and also enrich those opportunities for those that don't want to go in that. For some of them, they went, oh, this is really daunting. This is, a, this is an hour and 50 minutes of my time. But actually, when we unpick the curriculum and they drive that curriculum for us, they've gone, oh, this is brilliant. Um, particularly our sixth form and year 11 options. Um, so our sixth formers now go off site, so as well as our traditional games program, they go down to Woking Leisure Centre and have access to the facilities there. Um, and we're looking to build that partnership and certainly through um, extended day swimming and things like that. So with our concept curriculum, we recognise sport is a massive vehicle for all of these outcomes that we have on here. Um, now, these core concepts, we don't teach them as they are, so we don't go right term one, term two, and split these across term three. For year seven, for personal development, we've actually focused on resilience for the first term. So within the year seven's lessons, we will talk about resilience. We will talk about a positive approach to things. We will talk about marginal gains. We will talk about um, not giving up being a hard worker through the sport that we're delivering. So if we go back in there, so uh, for some of our sevens, they might be coming back to gymnastics, through teaching the, the gymnastics and, and of balances of whatever we might be doing, we'll be talking about resilience of when it gets tough. We might give them an opportunity that they'll never be able to, with the time that they've got, they won't ever be able to accomplish because we want to see what they do. Particularly in, in games lessons, we'll play a five versus three or a five versus two and go, well, and one of them throws their toys out and go, what, this is just so unfair. Was that the right way to react? Is that what we should do in that situation? Or could we have put it in a, a slightly better way? Um, and we've got these strands going throughout every year group. So tens, um, we've got here, we, our GCSE PE group, 
And then we've got our sport education and sports leaders that we've brought in, um, which is really, really exciting. We've taken those courses and lucklified it and really made it our own to make sure that it, it meets the needs of the pupils that we've got in front of us. Um, and that's one thing that Team PA are brilliant at. I'm not going to move on from topic to topic within badminton. I'm not going to go from serve to backhand to forehand. Well, we'll know, we'll, we might talk about tactics. We might talk about shots to get it to the back of the court. And we might spend the whole six weeks on that because we're not expecting kids to learn a smash in by the time they get changed 45, 50 minutes of lessons. So we really work with them and we save progress and we move things forwards. Um, and that leads all the way through to our sixth form and we work very closely with the, the life skills programme. Um, and particularly in the upper school within my role, having this transfer across so they're hearing the same message again and again and again. And then on this side here, we have our physical literacy. So in terms of movement, um, every lesson we talk about making sure that they sweat, making sure they go out there and they run around and they work hard. We look for smiles. So it looks like we've actually, they're having fun. What we've put on for them is engaging. And we then ask questions because that's going to show us whether they're learning or thinking. Learning and thinking are two very different things. Learning is that long process. Thinking is what they're doing in that moment and how can we change that for them. Um, but physical literacy, keeping them active, keeping them engaged. Um, quick, fun starters that look at them enjoying movement, getting to understand their own bodies, particularly at the growth rates that we have. I mean, some of my year nines have come back. I mean, I'm all of seven foot or six foot six, um, and they've come back and they're sort of towering over me. And it's getting them to understand that, well, it's different now. You've got longer arms. Catching can be slightly different to throwing, to running. So including that within every lesson that we do. So that leads nicely into our ADP. So developing physical, physical literacy at every level. And that's very different for different people. Um, for some, it's just physical literacy in terms of keeping them moving, increasing that heart rate. For others, it's looking at landing mechanics. It's looking at counter movements. And all of these things are done within the ADP. Um, and also rolled out within lessons. So Mr. Standing's created this book for us, whereas staff members, in every lesson, we try to include one of these games, which looks at a particular concept about m enjoying movement and being physically active. Um, so there's the lunchtime sessions. There's the lunchtime timetable, um, which you can see. So juniors is 7, 8, inters is 9, 10, and then seniors is um, the top end of the school. Um, so we have lunchtime sessions, which is half hour long. We have our learn to lift. So at year nine, they look at learning to lift. So they do big compound movements, not to turn them into strength and conditioning monsters, but these are good ballistic movements that we see in everyday, move, uh, in everyday movements. And then one-to-ones, uh, that's our sort of highlight at the top end of the school for our 11s, 12s and 13s. In and around their academics, they have access to Mr. Standing, can book in with him and they have one-to-ones in and around their sport-specific needs. Um, so particularly some of our, our scholars this year are already going to be working very closely. We'll be monitoring their training load in relation to what they're doing within school and outside of school, um, and through a range of workshops and trips that we've got lined up for the summer. Um, hopefully, it allows them to unlock the potentials that they have. We also have this at other levels. So we have sort of our scholars' performance level, we then have our developing level and then we've got our sort of entry level, which is open to everyone at the bottom because the success of the programme, everybody wants to buy into it. They see what fun sessions Mr. Standing puts on for them and they want to have a bite of that. So fixture squad in touch. Um, this is our online website and application. Um, you can access our website. So if you just type in Luckily Our School Squad in Touch, they'll have come up with a calendar that has the calendar for the whole year. When you have the app, the app will look a little bit empty. Uh, that's only because your son or daughter might not have been selected for anything. You'll be notified and something will come up via the app or via email when they've been selected for a fixture. Um, Pupils have already been automatically signed up. So we have all of the sevens and all of the new pupils are, are signed up and good, raring to go. Um, and parents, you can go onto the Squad in Touch website, log in. 
you type in your details, you um, type in your son or daughter's details, you, the only thing is it will associate you with that account. You just have to make sure that you input your um, contact details the same as the main school contact. And that will then sync you automatically. If it doesn't, I then get a notification where I then, it says, so-and-so wants to pair with this young man. And I go, yep, that's fine. That's dad, accept. And then you can see everything that they've been selected for. Um, the how-to guide is on the website um, and also will be distributed in the letter that will have this recording tomorrow. And team sheets generally come out in 72 hours in advance. Um, generally, we say, Nine and ten, all majority of those games will be on a Tuesday afternoon. Seven, eight is on a Wednesday afternoon. And seniors, so 11, 12 and 13s are on a Thursday. But that's not to say that there'll be other ad hoc ones in there. Um, this year we've entered, uh, we're in the County Cup for boys and girls competitions. Um, we've also entered the, um, the netball, school's netball cup. Um, we've entered the ESAAs, cross countries, and also the athletics. So the other competitions that we're doing around it will be those additions as well. Uh, the other one is that we've got coming up after October half term is the Berkshire uh, uh, Basketball Leagues that we're in. And those might not necessarily fit on our games afternoons. Because the games afternoons, we're in what we call our Super 8 League, um, or Super 10 as it is now, where we've got 10 other schools in there. We play them every week. Wherever we come in there, we then play as a first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Um, we don't post any results on our on our Twitter or on Squad in Touch. Those are then collated by the organisers of each of those individual competitions. Um, we just feel that we're not overly bothered by results. Seven eights. It's a very much a friendly league round robin that leads into. Um, sort of a finals day where we go and play some small-sided competitions. 9-10, we like to add that competitive element in. Um, they've all got it anyway. When If you've gone away and you've suffered a loss, the bus tends to be a little bit more sombre on the way home. Uh, but that's our philosophy that we have here. There's certain competitions that we go out and say, yep, yeah, look, this is the County Cup. Today's about winning. And then we look to see a different side to these boys and girls. So, that's a bit of a one-stop shop. Um, is there anything that I haven't covered in there that you have any questions about? Amazing, if only that happened every lesson that I taught, that'd be tremendous. Um, I think the big takeaways from this is I'd either go away now and look to sign up to the Squad in Touch so you can have access your sons and daughters can also download the app and they can have access to it. Um, it's linked with their email account. Um, so it, they, they can be held responsible and accountable for making sure they've got their PE kit, their hockey stick, their shorts, their shin pads, their gum shield for whatever fixture it might be. Um, so you don't get that phone call going, oh, we've got a fixture today and I forgot my boots. Can you bring this in for me? No. You know, this is what's happening, this is when it's happening, and it sort of creates them and makes them that little bit more independent. We hope, touch wood. Um, but other than that, if there's no other questions, if you don't want to ask sort of in this forum, I'll be sort of wandering around afterwards. But um, thank you for coming. The letter will come out. I'm hoping they'll, it'll come out tomorrow. If not, they will, the school likes to keep letters coming out in one lump, so they might hold it till Friday's bulletin, and it may come out then. Um, but I'll certainly push for this recording to be attached and then all this other information in there to be summarised for you. Other than that, if you have no questions, have a great evening um, and I hope to see you on the side of a, a football pitch, hockey pitch, netball, court, whatever it might be in the coming future. Thanks, Perfect. Thanks. Cheers, thank you guys.